probably are Kingdom Hearts fans. After their most anticipated release, potentially of all time. It's been out for a full two years now. They spent over a decade waiting for this moment, and it just seems like it's been ages since then. Kingdom Hearts 3 was not only my most anticipated game of all time, but it was my most anticipated release just of anything. The first two games specifically just told this really simple story of a chosen one, kind of a boy, and he's just fighting the forces of darkness to save his friends, and you get to be this badass anime character going through all these Disney worlds that just seemed like such a crazy idea, but it just was one that felt magical. Kingdom Hearts 3 is hands down one of the founding pillars as to how I started actually getting traction on YouTube. The build-up to its release, thanks to this community, is one of the greatest experiences I have ever had in my life, and one that I will never forget. That's that's what got me starting to record reactions to things. They did super well, and I would speculate and stuff, just as I do now with like Smash and Halo. And it was just something I was not expecting to happen. It got to the point where even for some reason I was considered like a Kingdom Hearts YouTuber amongst like the the key keepers and Keyblade Sarah and other people. I'm like. I, I'm just a gamer that loves Kingdom Hearts. Like, I don't know how this is happening. And that's why I just, on release night, I was telling my Discord how I felt more sad. I felt more sad than happy about this game. I've been waiting like over a decade to finally play and say, you know, it's here. I was just sad that night. The experience was over. We all played the game. We all had it in our hands and now we don't need to follow those breadcrumbs anymore because we have the game and we get to be done with the game in the matter of a month, unless you just find other things to do and keep replaying it over and over, but that hype train just faded away that night. We were left in this void of just nothing after so many years of waiting. Yes, there was the Remind DLC the next year, which was cool, but it just still felt off to me. It was something, but it just still felt off. And I have a whole review about Kingdom Hearts 3. That's still one of my favorite videos on my channel, to be honest. I like how it's put together, and I got to get the community to ask me questions that I could respond to. Kingdom Hearts 3 is not one of my favorite games of all time. It's from one of my favorite franchises of all time, but it's not a favorite game of mine of all time. What it is, though, is something that will always hold a special place in my heart. Because of what it did for me and this community and just forming all these friendships that I have and being able to go on this hype train that I've never gone on anything similar to it before. And I especially made this video because even though it's two weeks late, I just felt like sharing some thoughts that I had after it being two years after Kingdom Hearts 3 has been released. And again, just being a key reason why I am on YouTube and have the subs that I do or people and communities that I do. This void, if it has done anything for me personally, it made me want to continue to find these hype trains. That's why I changed the banner on my channel. It says building hype every week because I, I just love to find those things that people, whether they're aware of them or not, can just kind of come together and get excited about something instead of trash talking or anything like that. It's just weird though because there's no Kingdom Hearts. Where is Kingdom Hearts today? How are we feeling about it? I'm sure everybody feels differently. I personally, to be honest, after watching the way Melody of Memories ended, I don't think I'm as in love with the franchise as I once was. It's still going to be one of my two favorites of all time because of what the classic games did, what those everything I would say kind of before Dream Drop Distance and 3 did, I still love majority of those games and they still are a core as to what got me into gaming as passionately as I am but it's just the way Melody of Memory started to introduce certain things like unrealities and Kingdom Hearts 3 direction of cheating death and dream drop distance of time travel it started to introduce all these things that I just it kind of takes me away from what personally got me connected with this I'll always love Kingdom Hearts 1's story just being a story about a boy that just gets kind of yeeted into some grand fantasy adventure of going through Disney worlds and trying to find his friends and fighting the forces of darkness while he does it and keeping it simple there and to the same way like I still love a majority of the Kingdom Hearts series I'm just gonna hold it as a classic 
And whatever comes next, I'll be looking forward to seeing it with some fans. I just don't know if I'm at that same place that three was. Three was that, it was that number that we were waiting for, for like a dozen years to finally happen. And that's why I was kind of brought to tears when it first was announced. And now that it's out, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. It seems like they're going in a direction that is definitely different. I just don't know if it'll be for me. But I especially wanted to make this to kind of express the gratitude that I have for Kingdom Hearts 3 and how much I've been missing it, to be honest. The part of me wants to replay it because I still do love the game and I love what it gave me on like this platform that I'm uploading to and to you and to a lot of other people of this kind of thing that we all came together to follow this hype train of and just Spread the love, spread the enjoyment, spread the joy, spread the hype. And if you're somebody that hasn't watched any of these videos for a long time, I just want to say thank you. It's good to see you again. And hope you will follow me and all these other hype adventures that I'm going to go on. And there's just, there's always something. There's always something to look forward to. It doesn't have to be your favorite franchise. There's always something to look forward to. And yes, I miss the days where Kingdom Hearts 3 was being built up, but there's always something. There's always something. But I'd love to know where you are after two years of Kingdom Hearts 3 being out and how you're feeling about the future of the Kingdom Hearts franchise, whether you're a fan or not. And if you want to relive the journey for whatever reason, then you could take a look at the playlist of reactions that I had building up to the game. It's really interesting to just kind of see how long that went, even though I had to re-upload all the videos. And most importantly, may your heart be your guiding key. Thanks, guys.